What's up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play West of Loathing with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony. This is West of Loathing. And we're gonna we're gonna continue right off from the uh, last episode with this riddle slash puzzle. Anything else? Uh, she sniffles a little. She passed at the same age as poor poor Becky, who is always such in, in such ill health. Same age as Becky. All right, I'm gonna say that that's enough. Hmm, well, I think I know who she was. I'll be back in a minute. I'll be back in a minute. All right, dearie, I'll be here, leave. So we've got Pamela Smith, Pearl Smith, penultimate Becky Smith, Leslie Smith, Lilith Smith, Lil Be little Becky Smith, Patricia Smith, first Becky Smith, Fiona Smith, Paula Smith, oh my god, Lenore, Le Leilani, Faye, Margaret, Linda, oh my god, there's so many. A loosely packed grave, pick it up. You uncover a coffin that was apparently delivered by mail because it still has the address printed on it. Either that or this was a joke about somebody going to Hellstrom Ranch after they die. You discover a new map location, Hellstrom Ranch. Melissa, Magdalene, Mezzo. Actually, that's Mezzo Becky. All right, there's a lot of Beckys. So that same age as Becky is a little confusing. What's, oh. Get back here. Um, I still can't remember which of my granddaughters was my favorite. Please, can you help me? Uh, get another hint. Well, I'm quite certain her first name ended in a vowel. Oh, oh crap. Remember, she wasn't buried next to any of my daughters. Passed at the same age as poor Becky. Her favorite hobby was knitting. Uh, she knit me a lovely sweater for Crimbo just the year before she died. And that's all I can remember. I should have gone one further, apparently. Knitting okay, then hang on, let me think a moment. Knitting. I wrote that down. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Leave. I, I don't, oh, there's more. Rebecca, Billy Spider McKinley turned out to be way more than one. What? Peggy Immortal, kinda ironic. Wise old Jed Marmot. This time, the bar ain't him. The ground here seems reasonably soft. Dig it up. You got an item? Marmot skin cap. Big Bob Hurlingham, gone to the big pie eating contest in the sky. The ground seems reasonably soft. Dig it up, you got a tripe pie. Gross. Uh, Biff Bunkerson, he was a real butt face. Snidley, there's some skeletons over there. Snidley Crandallsworth, he was sort of like a Benjamin Button kind of thing. 1800 to 1700. Clean Willie Hinks, really is gonna hate this burial thing. Was he not dead? Annette sent a bomb, tried to eat her way out of a pear. Oh God. Buck Jeansley, nobody ever saw a man that died before. Never, nobody ever saw a man die that way before weird looks like there's a whole gang buried here wait in this should be easy uh definitely want to not oh my god they are all so strong i mean that one is the most health so let's but that one has a gun is it gonna do more damage because it has a gun let's where, which one is the least health 94. So. Ooh. Shoot a bunch of random targets. It'll do. Probably about 3 to 4 damage a piece. Okay. 12 to 15. Um, we can do 10 damage and apply 2 poison. 0 spooky damage. Alright. Um, yeah, we want to attack the one with 94 health first. 
So, whip it. Oh my god. And then we want to bone saw the one with the most health. Honestly, I don't think it matters. I want to do the one uh, with the gun first. Then we'll do the one with more health. Okay, we're just gonna die, so never mind. Plus three to all stats, and he killed me. Let's not do this fight. You're madder in a hornet. If your anger level gets higher than three, you'll pass out from rage. Oh, we could get it up to three? Let's try this fight. One more time. Yeah, because I can't get to that thing without it. We got the jump on him this time. Last time, too. They're slightly different than they were before. Elaine Sweet, Evane Sweet, Guinevere Sweet, Brutus Sweet, and Morgan Sweet. Um, yeah, so we're gonna snake whip this one. They're immune to poison, but that's not a big deal. We also might want to use dynamite? 20 damage to the target. It doesn't end my turn. Uh, I thought it would do scatter damage. Whip it. I cannot figure out what the actual correct strategy for this one is. Bone saw the one with the gun. Yeah, we're gonna die. All right then. My anger didn't actually go up. Oh, yes it did. Oh well, I guess we gotta solve this riddle now. How do we know who liked to knit? We don't get information other than their name. I guess we can... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Okay. Um, let's go to plot two and just see what we got back here. Shank Weems. We're reasonably sure he's dead. Adam L. Olmada. They got him coming and going because his name is a palindrome. Dink Scotch Turkinson. <laughs> what a name. Uh, drowned in a whiskey barrel. It's what he would have wanted. Let's dig it up. Some decent whiskey. Old Dead Tom. Took us kind of a long time to get around to this. Fred Deeks. Couldn't remember the rhyme about which snakes are poisonous. The ground here is reasonably soft. Patent emetic. What? Okay. Canerald Flens. Died as he lived. Screaming. Annette Jangle. First lady bicyclist to ride, ride off a cliff. The ground. <laughs> riding boots. Great. Lavender Crinks, inventor of the external combustion engine. It's the remains of a picnic. Loot it. Jelly escargot, soda crackers, gothic cameo. Good stuff. I don't understand this riddle. I know that some of these make sense. Vernon Pensacord, professional sword swallower. Professional. Dynamite Jim Fresca. All the bits we could find. This tombstone is big and fancy and has a door on the front. Open it. Inside there is a document and a weird little metal object. Read the document. The document describes a tontine, uh, the burial wishes of Chet Bustersley, Bustersley, and a weird sequence of letters. BTL, ITR. Huh. Uh, take the object. You pick up the object, it looks like it's a piece of a broken key. Key fragment, interesting. Leave. I know we need to assemble a key. Fires lock picking two, and of course a needle, which is impossible to find. Safe cracking two. Well, I don't think we're gonna assemble that key. 
Plot number three. Let's dig this up. I didn't read it, but we can come back. Paulette Tootsbury. Died of a disease we don't have a name for yet. Paulette Fink. Uh, okay. You're not gonna... You're not going to get past this barrier of whirling bones without, well, making it so there's no barrier of whirling bones here anymore. Shoot them, because it's the only thing we can do. We did it. You draw your pistol and definitely shoot the floating bones into bits that are too small to float. Muscle 7, nothing to it. These cultists look like they're barely maintaining control over that skeleton. Uh, wait a while and see what happens. You hide behind a tombstone and wait. After a few moments, the skeleton rests itself from the cultist's control and goes on a rampage. Bones and teeth fly everywhere, and none of them belong to the skeleton, if that gives you any indication of how the fight turned out. Seemingly satisf satisfied with the carnage it has caused, the skeleton scratches something into the ground and then shuffles off to the south. Yikes. Grutch. There's a black book on a pedestal here. Take it. You got an item, intermediate next max. Don't want to lose our pal, so we can't use that. Nothing left but boots and teeth. This is what the skeleton wrote. Must be its name. Nothing in here but three bedrolls and a single stale smell. Peninsula Wackersley. Nice lady, but really unfortunate name. Uh, stench resistance. We can do that. We've got... Sweet smelling flowers. Investigate. You open the door and dig around in the detritus. You find a mostly burned scroll. You got an item burned scroll. Cool, I opened the wrong thing again. Um I'm gonna put my shiny ball back on. And then go back to everything we have. Burned scroll. The scroll has mostly been burned beyond legibility, but you can just barely make out something about hell cow energy in between the scorch marks. Examine it. The scroll is in bad shape and you can't really make out anything new, but you're convinced this must be another clue to the whereabouts of the necromancer. You stick the scroll into your journal. I should check that out. Unfortunately, we can't read the Nexmex books. Where'd the first one even go? Did she make us get rid of it? Not even gonna try to read it this time. Peninsula Wackersley. <laughs> Alright. Is there another... No, looks like this is the last plot. Xavier J. Hornhog ran for mayor right off of a cliff. Lucky Vinnie Pike, it's bound to run out sooner or later. Gina? Slap radish, ate too many wasps, of course. Hazel Bashley embroidered herself to death. That one guy, you know, that one, yeah, him. Red Haggins, the most strikingly rat-faced man any of us had ever seen. Stan Rietta Minkleston. Tried to eat a live eagle on a dare. The ground here seems reasonably soft. Dig it up, you got an item handful of loose teeth. Makes sense. The skeleton doesn't seem particularly threatening, apart from a general reminder of your own mortality. Talk to him. Uh, hello, who are you? My name's Bernard. But shh, lower your voice, they'll hear us. Who, the cultist? Shh, yes. Not a fan? They're reanimating dead people's skeletons. I don't want to be reanimated. It sounds horrible. Can you imagine? Having to walk around without your skin on? How embarrassing, not to mention cold. Sure, well, plus I mean dying's hard enough. Who wants to come back to life when you just... Got used to being dead, right? I can see that. Please, can you do something? I don't want them to find me. I took care of them already. You got an... Oh, great. Phew. That's a load off my mind. Let me tell you. Here, you can have this worry stone. I don't need it anymore. Cool, thanks. A worry stone. Thanks again for the help. You're welcome. Let's see what that does. This rock has had a hole rubbed in it by incessant worrying. Fidgeting with it will stop you from looking so anxious all the time. This item goes in your offhand, plus six moxie. So offhand... Shiny ball, plus four moxie. Worry stone, plus six moxie. Easy decision. The best kind of decision. All right, figure this out. First name, wait. I think I know who she was. Uh, 
Granny's face lights up as you nervously glance at the tombstones behind her. Did her name start with a PMFL? Actually, never mind. I should think about this more. I'll be back in a minute. Leave. Okay. We need to check P. P F M L. Name starts with a vowel. I don't know what year the ghost was born. So how does the age range help me? First name longer than last. I'll be back in a minute. Because she doesn't have, unless it was Rebecca Smith, 1800 to 1895. That seems reasonable. So born between 1837 and 1842. That is going to narrow it down a bit. Oh, I'll be back in a minute. Sorry, didn't mean to talk to you. Okay. So no to little Becky Smith. Yes, possible to Pamela Smith. Pearl Smith. No. Lilith. Let's, uh, Sorry. Pamela. Okay. Pearl. Penultimate Becky Smith. 1840. That's in the range. Penultimate Becky. I don't know the daughters. 1820. I'm guessing this is a daughter. So it wasn't Pamela. She wasn't buried next to daughters. Same age as Becky when she died. First Becky. First Becky was 38 when she died. It could potentially be not Penelope because she was born too early. Uh, Patricia, born in the right time, but buried Or no, too young. Uh, Paula, born outside of the right time. Lenore, definitely outside of the right time. Lelani, no. It, oh, Fiona, one, two, three, four, five letters, so no. Faye, definitely not. Margaret, no. Linda, no. We're getting somewhere though. 1836, just outside of the range. Meredith, no. Mezobecky. Died at 50, so no. Mad Magdalene, in the range. Vowel name. N same age as Becky? There's so many Beckys. Maybe that's not a good clue. I'm gonna guess Melissa. I'm gonna... I think it's Melissa. So let's do this. Can you remember anything about your granddaughter? I think I know who she was. Two, M. Granny's eyebrows raised, hopefully. Was it me? Melissa? Granny's face falls and she starts to cry. No, no, it wasn't her. Oh, I'll never remember. I'm sorry, I. Thank you for trying. But please leave me alone with my grief. Maybe try again later. So. I have to come back tomorrow? I think it was probably Mezzo Becky. Mezzo Becky. Died at 50. I know it was... It started with an M-E. It couldn't have been Meredith. So it's got to be Mezzo, Becky. We got to come back tomorrow, unfortunately. Uh, that's going to suck. We don't have the full key. Well then. Now what? 
What does our partner have to say about being here? All right, you look around. And I'll see if there's any trace of that necromancer. I'll cover our backs. Right. There was. There was a trace of it. What else we got going on here? Hellstrom Ranch. Let's check it out. We'll come back in-game tomorrow. Taffy's ears perk up and she suddenly veers off course. You approach a weird clearing full of piles of rocks. They make your ears ring somehow. You discover a new map, location, the West Pole. This has got to be one of those technology things, right? We were right next to it, too. It's a weird pile of rocks. Mess with them. These rocks are strange. They don't seem to weigh as much as they should, and they're sort of drawn to each other. You could probably make an interesting cairn out of them. Something powerful, something mystical, something suave. The pile is fine the way it is. Neat. Loco weed, unfortunately we cannot... What? Nothing's... Wait. Why is this happening? Oh, okay, the, the trees won't stand up straight. Nothing special about it apart from the fact that it isn't a pile with the other rocks. Examine it. Nothing special about it apart from the fact that it isn't in a pile with the other rocks. Pick it up. Oof, it's way heavier than it looks. You can't budget it at all. Weird. Okay, let's mess with these. Let's make something suave. Uh... A cheeky gesture? You could probably make an interesting cairn. I don't know what cairns are. Three. You step back and admire your handiwork? Heh, <laughs> handiwork. Uh, that's pretty dope. You knock it back into a pile, mess with them, something suave, a sassy face. Step back and, okay, I think I only get the experience the first time. Pretty cool though. Do I have to build something out of all of these? Let's make something powerful. Let's not. Let's check our character info. We've got 18 muscle. Is there anything we can use to get that higher? Our head already gives us plus four. So it seems like no for that. Gothic cameo, 20% spooky resistance. Oh, we don't really need that now. Plus three moxie, nothing for muscle. Oh, that's the same thing there. Worry stone, no muscle. That's plus one muscle already. Nope, and no, but this is better than what we have on. Glad I checked. We could probably take some potions. Let's check, uh, What's our mysticism? 13? Uh, I think we're just gonna leave. Well, this place feels weird. I think I've heard of this place, the West Pole. It's got something to do with the Earth's magnetic field. What's that mean? Well, physics aren't exactly my wheelhouse. I think I can feel, I, I think I can taste the fillings in my teeth. All right. Maybe if we just build whatever, it, it's good. Step back and admire work. It looks very occult. Uh, something powerful. A threatening fist. Nice, that's super threatening. Something suave. Let's make a cheeky gesture. All right. And something mystical. A mystic, or a perfectly balanced stack. Nice, perfect. Examine it. Pick it up. Weird. I thought that would do something if we had built all of these into piles. Oh well. The horse made a weird sound there. Let's keep going to Hellstrom Ranch. Oh. You see a campfire near the trail. You turn off to let your horse rest a bit. The campfire's owners offer you a cup of coffee and suggest a round or two of poker while it boils. You can tell from the look in his eyes that he's playing it cheap, but so are you, so it's probably fine. Too rich for my blood, because I couldn't choose the other one. Well then. Free needle? 
Nice. They must have had a real barn burner of a party here. <laughs> yeah. Ringing this will attract the attention of at least one infernal cow. It's a portal to hell you hear ominous mooing. This sure seems like a powerful source of hell cow energy. The only part of this shed that didn't burn was the part this horseshoe was attached to. Guess it really is good luck. Grab it. Lucky horseshoe. What does that do? Plus six attack damage for pistols, specifically. Goes in your offhand. Right now I got six moxie. I think I'm gonna stick with the moxie. Let's fight a cow, I suppose. You got the jump on him this time. It's got 110 health. We could do 33 damage or we could do 12 and then more next time. It's technically a skeleton. But I don't think we can bow it. Bone, bone saw it. Do nine damage to it, sure. It's made of bones, but it's not a skeleton, technically. 10 more damage, and two more poison damage. Would you look at that? I think we got this basically in the bag. We heal next time. Hopefully she can, yeah, she can do plenty. almost dead uh, 50 HP left we have one action point so we can snake whip it to bring it down to 40 and then it'll do another 8 bring it down to 32 how much health do I have 12 she can heal me yeah so snake whip then we'll shoot it and it'll die we're gonna heal It'll do some damage. It only does one more than she heals. So we can basically do this for 10 more turns and we're not gonna have to. Shoot. How much health does it have? 22. We, we, if we shot it, we'd only do 17 more damage in this turn. So we're just gonna heal ourselves. Uh, shoot it and then have Doc shoot it next time if it's not already dead. Boom! Nice. You pulled some cows from their home dimension and mercilessly slaughtered them, you monster. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. They're super evil, 40 XP, and an infernal soul fragment. Hooray! Ah, uh, with that, I'm gonna say. But that is all for now, but thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And I will see you in the next episode.